Hello, Martins here. So a few months ago, I made a tutorial video on how to dock and undock panels. And from the comments, it has been very, very helpful to thousands. But recently, I got the comments from this viewer who asked about how to dock the audio meter. You know, I never really thought about that. The way to dock and undock panels is by holding on to the name of the panel. But the audio meter doesn't have a name. So how do you dock it? Well, I dived into research and I found out exactly how to do it. Let me show you. So we are inside of Premiere and this is my audio meter and it is undocked. Um, you know one of the ways to dock panels in Premiere Pro, one of the easiest ways to know that you are on the right path is by clicking on the name of the panel and dragging it to where you want to. Let me show you an, ex an example. So um, let's say this is my panel that I want to dock. This is the audio clip mixer. The way to dock it is to just hold on the name here and just put it in any group that you want to. And that's it, it's there. But then, for the audio meter, it is a bit more complicated. It is a bit more different because there is no name. So how do you drag it? You can't just drag it like this because if you drag it like this, it will just keep on going round and round and round and won't allow you to dock it anywhere. So how do you do it? All you need to do is to go to this um, vertical line where the vertical and the horizontal line meets. Um, sometimes you have to do it multiple times. But once you go there, you click hold and drag it and then you would see this blue line coming out once you see this blue line coming out you then you click and hold it again and that's it it will not allow you to um dock it anywhere you want to dock it be it here here or wherever you want to dock it entirely it will not allow you to dock it there so i can just dra drag it and dock it here and um, where it originally is in premiere or where i want it to be in my workspace i just need to go to this place here click drag to the side and then hold it and then that's it. I can now pull it and put it wherever I want to put it. So I hope you understand this. Um, for that viewer who made me do this tutorial, make sure you're not just a viewer right now, but a subscriber. So um, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next one.